want to go forward with ALS, A, or B, if we can't come to an agreement in some period of time, right? That second person we're hiring this year, in July 1, right. would fill the empty slot coming in January, and we just walk away from this and we're back to where we, we started, if it came to that. Got it? Yep. So, the, uh, again, the uh, magenta color down the bottom is not threading five, six, seven, and eight individuals that are not identified. And the idea was that when we got to eight, we had full ALS coverage for a shift for each of the four, uh, four uh, shifts, and therefore we could be full ALS by the beginning of 2014. But along the way, we'd be running ALS, but not being able to do full ALS coverage. In other words, there'd be times when we didn't have the right shift mix, and we'd be using action or But we calling. can still use ALS rates in certain calls when we have the right shift mix? When we have ALS, well, once we're certified, right, we have ALS staff on the ambulance, and it's an ALS call, we can build it. If we right. don't, we don't have need ALS to have staff, eight. We don't have ALS staff on that ambulance. We have to call in Action or uh, Middleton or Reading or whatever. This this plant this plant assumes that we can start billing ALS once we have four paramedics certified ALS paramedics. Right. On a part-time basis. Correct. You'll see in the revenue plan how it rolls out. Okay. So, uh, this this kind of gives you a picture of where the dollars fit into yeah. the rest. Maybe I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but as far as the new hires and those that are certified, the two existing members of the department that are certified in the, in the four, or the, well, the two new hires, the one we're just hiring and the new one coming on, are we going to be um, matching them up on the specific shifts that we know have the most business so that we can maximize the well, revenue I, stream. I think, you know, it's going to be, you know, or is it, well, I, think, I think, see, first of all, there's a big collective bargaining. <coughs> I, know, the, the I know, we're getting that. Too, I think that's the chief's management uh, is going to have to, you know, figure that out. When we get to the point we can manage that, we'll, we'll do that. We'll sit down with Greg and so forth. Come up with the idea of how we're going to do that at that time. But at this point, we still have many things that we have to get through. People have to be matched up, like you say, with people who have longer times and so forth. But we still do credentialing and so forth. There's, there's many more hurdles we have to get through, so we're... You know, it's it's possible to for, uh, to have an, an ALS person and a, an EMS person on the ambulance to go out, and like Huntfield does, call back. they call back a uh, ALS guy, you know, to, to help cover. So, I mean, there's... There's ways of managing around it. We've been kind of conservative in the revenue plan associated with this during the going through this period until we get enough staff. Now, why why do we have uh, only do I only show eight uh, or four additional four more uh, firefighters? Actually, that that number is uh, four, and uh, it's more than eight. It's, there's 12 there, right? Yeah, there's 12. So it's not 8, it's 12. 12 what? 12 ALS trained personnel, 3 per shift by the end of 2013. That's our goal. You need a commitment on the current members of the department to do that. Yeah, of course. Right, yeah. Yeah. So what you're saying is some of those gold blocks are going to turn red to make up the other four? No, the, gold block, the gold blocks are <laughs> ALS, too. They are? Okay. They are. I, I just separated them because the gold ones are brand new empl additional employees, yep. and the others are... Existing. I'll just scribble away my note I made. That's all. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so you should do that. I get it. Is that pencil, I hope? <laughs> I got to I'm a rookie. I'm telling I'm you. Right. Right. You'll learn. <laughs> we struggle on how to... How to draw a picture of I this. think you've so done a fine job. I, I'm following <laughs> you. Well, was it correct that really that 
to run full ALS, all we really required was a total of eight ALS certified. Well, that, that's in a perfect, the that's in a perfect world where no one has vacations, right. no that's one's what the sick, extra four and all the shifts are equally balanced, right? But that's not going to happen. So that's why we're funding on the extra fours to cover. The well, I mean, so the, the goal might be. I'm not. I don't want to cut it off to you. The idea is. In this kind of time frame, we can make things go. A couple things you need to know. One is, for example, we have two new guys starting, one uh, as soon as possible, and the other on July 1. Right? Now, they need both of those new guys, these are additions, need to go to fire training school. It's a 13 week course. The chief can only get one in on July 7th or something, I think? Sixth. July 6th. Right? The rest of the slots are full. So the second guy, you know, although he can cover a shift, he hasn't gone through the full training. Right? So his turn will be, hopefully we'll get him in the next course, which, you know, I've got a program for the second quarter, but <coughs> we don't have confirmation of that yet. So there, you know, there are a number of training hurdles, matching schedules, you know, it's not like we can say, this is when you're going. It's gonna be, this is when the class is, and by the way, I hope we can get into it. <coughs> and as the chief says, he can't really schedule someone to go to a class unless the person's on board. Right. So, any questions about this? Then the, the bottom section represents. Well, I have to think here for a second. It looks like it's training. Fire academy Our, training. Our desire training. Is fire academy. academy training, right. So you can see that the idea would be, first of all, to send the individual that will we'll shot one man on a ship. He goes first. He's a, he's a new hire, but not an addition. Then in the second quarter, if we get into the class, now those two flip, and uh, we send that second. The second one is one of the additional men. And then the third is a replacement for Mr. Cook, if he retires as we think he does in January. <coughs> in January. And then you can see that addition two, now these are the <coughs> additions to the fire force, three and four are trained in the Q1 of 12, Q3 of 12, and then the last one in Q1 uh, of 13. Of 13, and that's kind of right after they uh, come on board. They go right to the fire academy. And I think back then we'll probably have less time of squeezing them in. But So until we get a cadre of people to re that are fully trained to replace an existing firefighter that wants to go out and get ALS training, you know, we're stuck with maybe one at a time until we get, you know, that core of people on board. You know, otherwise, we're going to be paying heavy overtime rate to, uh, to get these people trained at a point where a financial revenue stream doesn't support it. So we get to the revenue stream. This is probably a little hard to read. I'll try to do an overview. First of all, it's by quarter, but there is a total end for each fiscal year in red. So what we did was we uh, start with the new BLS right now. What we're doing is we're, we're dealing with additional personnel and we're dealing with revenue, new revenue. Okay, so the existing revenue is funding what we have now. None of that shows up in the slide. None of it shows up. Yep. So the $100,000 annually for uh, the new BLS rate is broken down by quarter, first line. Second line is ALS, and the idea is that we could start to collect a portion, a small portion of ALS revenue in the third quarter. In other words, this is where you know we've matched it up you know, maybe the ambulance went out and the, the existing you know, the second guy's not on the ship, he meets up. It would capture some ALS revenue. 
and uh, we do that for a period of uh, one, two, three, four, five quarters. <coughs> now that's, I think, is fairly conservative. And uh, the total revenue numbers then drop down, and, and uh, the total revenue, uh, just I'll go over the first year, $25,000 additional revenue in quarter one, two, it goes to 56 because of ALS in quarter three, and another 56 in quarter four for a total of $167,000. In terms of additional employees, we're budgeting $60,000 per employee, and that includes benefits, and, and that's $15,000 a quarter because we've got one employee, and that's the $60,000. We're paying him from July 1. There may be a little bit of a budget overlap because I think Craig has got uh, that extra fireman in the first six months of our new budget. And that's all we have. And then there's an ALS stipend, and that's for uh, that would be for two men. But why is two it? Two men. That's one, that's one and a half men. Isn't that one and a half men? Because it's 5,000, right? That'd be two and a half. I'm no, sorry. Two and, two and a half. Two and a half. No, we have two. Two. So it should be 10,000, or is it? No, it's... We have the rate wrong. Because I have down here, it says 5,000, 5, but that's... 5,000 for the five statement. Two, two, well, right. And it's a negotiable number, so... Yeah. So it's either 60, 250, it's, or five, it's three people, there. I believe. Well, it's three people. That would be 15, then. You know, yeah. well, because I stuck it, uh, what did I do? It's okay, we're not going to. Probably have a partial time. year on one of them. Yeah, I, I, I probably need to go back and look at that. <clears throat> and the other thing is, wouldn't these stipends be paid only? Uh, these, are, these stipends are going to be uh, paid to the new employees? These stipends would be, no, I'm sorry, you know what this is, and I got the wrong number in there. Okay. This is an assumption that if they're ALS qualified and we're doing ALS work, that there's that 5% in their base pay. And I calculated it. Got it. Right. This is not the stipend for going to school. Okay. Okay. That's a good question. If the base pays around fifty thousand dollars, forty-eight thousand dollars, that'd be twenty-five hundred bucks for a man. So that'd be six people. But yeah. that doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work either. Uh, then we have uh, turnout gear and radios, and you'll see that there's uh, one uh, one radio the chief has, correct? Or, yes. Right, so I just left it off of one. Uh, Mr. Cook leaves his radio cover. Right. Anyway, you roll this down, and uh, you end up with. Uh, Can I ask you a question on the expenses? Yeah. Is there a reason you didn't put in the cost out for the ambulance in here? Yeah, because I think it was a capital expenditure. Okay. And if you look at. <coughs> what additional revenue we generate. You know, I think we could pay for the bonding of it if we wanted to, or we may just put in a capital budget and say, it's coming out of the ambulance reserve, out of the cost of the ambulance. So I didn't put it in there. Mm -hmm. You also didn't carry the expenses for no, the turnout gear over, so the other 32. I think if you look, though, what I, what I said was we're, 90K the first year, 68K the second year. Right, the but the 90K year. does not take Positive, into, so. But it doesn't take into consideration the 31, 8, and the 22, 6, 25. Quarter one, quarter three, fiscal year 2011. You didn't carry that over to the fiscal right. year total. Am I missing it? Oh, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe I did over here. It is down the bottom, the 72.5. Yeah. Nope, no, it's not, because the 72.5 is just the 60 and the 12.50, yeah. the 12.500. So there should be another, uh, 
What are you looking for, Steve? Yeah, the, oh, no, that counts. The, the first quarter and the 